In this tutorial, we'll see how to enter invoices in payrolls. The process starts by clicking on the invoice tile on the springboard that we find on the home page by clicking on payables and then invoices. The other way you can navigate to the invoice screen is by going to navigator on the left top click on the hamburger icon and um, scroll down to payables then click on invoices this will launch the invoices page page shows you a summary of the different invoices and the status of the respective invoices. To enter a new invoice, we click on the pullout icon task bar here. And it shows you all the activities that you can do from here. Click on create invoice. and the invoice screen opens up. There's the invoice header, lines, taxes, and the totals that are displayed on this page. In the invoice header, we start by entering the business unit. In this case, we'll use US1 business unit. And the supplier will be the supplier from whole whom we are entering the invoices. In this case, we are using American Telegraph. The supplier number and the supplier site will be picked up. In, if not, we can choose from the drop down. We enter an invoice number and an amount of the total invoice. Let's say we have 1095 and uh, what type of invoice? It's a standard invoice. The other types of invoices that one can enter are prepayment, debit memo, credit memo, withholding taxes, retainage release. So in this case, we are entering a standard invoice. The date will default to today's date. The payment terms will be defaulting from the supplier. Terms date is the payment terms date based on immediate and anything that you want to change can be modified here. We next go to the line section of the screen where we'll be entering the line details. So let's say the line amount is 1000 and we can have a distribution set or we can enter a distribution combination for accounting purposes. This would be the accounting flex fill combination against which we are going to expense the invoice. So let's say I want to search for an expense type of account. And I say, let's say expense software. Okay. And uh, any other information that needs to be populated will be placed here re relating to purchase orders or assets or projects as applicable. Once we are done with this, we see there's a difference discrepancy in the taxes. Uh, there's no tax amount calculated here. So what we can do, we can go up to the invoice actions, click on calculate tax and the application will do the tax calculation based on the fusion tax setup in the application. Once this is done, the next action is to validate the invoice by going to invoice actions and clicking validate. Once 
Once this is done, the invoice status changes to validated. After validation, one can do accounting, payments, and the rest of the processes. With this, we come to the end of the tutorial on how to enter and validate invoices in payrolls. Thank you for watching.